Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, her Valley 3 Tarot, which is read you as well. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Interesting energy. Um, wow. Is that what I think that is? Um, don't know. Don't know. The ball is in your court, Pisces. <laughs> the ball is in your court. Interesting. But jumping into this, what you're kind of showing me is you've definitely found something out here. I'm not too sure exactly kind of like what you're showing me, but whatever this is that you've found out regarding your situation, your circumstances, I don't know what that is. Um... You're kind of, you're initially kind of showing me that something is a little bit of a puff, uh, interesting, a tough pill to swallow regarding how everything's kind of, you know, um, coming together or being tied together here between you and someone clearly. Now, even though I do see that what you're wanting to kind of create for yourself is definitely a balance of, I feel like work life as well as your love life, what you're kind of saying is I just want things to be maintained and upkept. At the same time, you are pretty determined and adamant to want to kind of start something new as well. Um, don't know what that is. I, I don't know what that is, but you're, you're kind of saying, you know what, emotionally speaking, there is clearly something going on here between you and someone. I don't know what is going on, but it seems like, you know, you definitely have someone by your side throughout all this. And it seems like whatever this is possibly regarding work, career and finances, or maybe starting something new for yourself, you do find inspiration at the same time. You're also kind of like, well, what can I do with it? Um, I need to know more. I want more information. And so as things, as you actually are finding out more information, Pisces, the way things are progressing and moving forward, and this is where I'm kind of like the balls in your court, um, to drop something and let it go or to hold on to it and, you know, I don't know. But you're choosing to drop something. You're saying the way, the way things are progressing and moving forward, I'm watching things just kind of, you know, collapse and crumble through my fingers. And it's like, at the same time, whatever is being revealed to you, you're saying like intuition. It's like, is your intuition before this or after this? Because I don't exactly know. Either way, it's getting you further in touch with your intuition. That is for sure. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What is this?
What is that? More specifically, who is that, Pisces? Who is that? Hmm. One more, and I'll jump back into this. Um, I feel like you're definitely. <laughs> I believe I told someone else this too. Um, you're wanting to stay ahead of this. You're wanting to stay ahead of the curve. And I, I feel like I've told a couple people this. Um, I feel like even though things are definitely in motion for you, you you're wanting to keep up with it. That that's that you, There's this emphasis on keep up, keep up with it. Um, I don't know what that's about, but keep up. Um, you're kind of showing it. And this is fascinating because whatever this is that you're, you know, whatever this is that you are making some sort of move towards, um, even though, yes, you are moving forward, what's interesting about this is that there seems to be something regarding control of one's thoughts and emotions um, and internal energies. And I'm not too sure exactly what that's about because, like I said, there's clearly someone by your side and the both of you do have love for each other and one another. Um, at the same time, though, there's also the consideration of some connection with someone that you do have some sort of connection with that you're not too sure about what to think about all this. Um, that's ultimately because you're showing me parental figure here, Pisces. You're showing me that you're a parent, they're a parent. There are, there are children and kids involved in this. I am looking at one. You're saying they're a lot, but you know, it's love. Um, it's family. whatever's going on is you, you you are showing me you have some sort of emotional connection to someone here but because you are with who you are with the parental figure um even though there, there are problems and issues between the two of you clearly i do see that you know you and them are working on taking things day by day and it's kind of like well if you want happiness you have to work for it you have to work for it every single day um it's not just an energy of i wake up and i'm happy and everything's happy everything's rainbows and glitter um you know, some people claim it is that way, but I don't believe it. Um, you know, it, even if it's like an active effort to work on one's mind and perspective and emotions, yeah, it's possible. But you're saying with everything going on, you just kind of feel like you're overburdened by all this and you're trying to figure out a way to leverage everything. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
One more, I'll jump back in. Jeez, 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 Pisces. Um, I get that though, I do. At the same time, it's it goes back to the same thing that I've, I said previously to you. Um, about that, every everything that you are taking care of, even though you do show me, it's like there is a lot of happiness there. It's definitely the pursuit of happiness. Um, like I said, day to day, it, it requires work and effort every single day to want to be happy and to work towards your happiness and, you know, alchemize your day into little happiness. You know, it's work and every day it is, but it's a, it's a choice you have to make um, or don't. But you feel like you have ideas as to how to leverage everything and make things easier for you. But emotionally speaking, you're just not too sure exactly what you feel called to. Uh, what I'm looking at here, Pisces, is the ocean. I'm looking at the ocean. Um, it's kind of like when you look out at the ocean, whether you're like at the beach or something or on vacation or whatever, the waves are going every single direction. You can't necessarily track one wave because it's constantly changing. So it's never, it's a one wave or is it a hundred waves all at once? You don't know. It's all the same. Um, and that's what you're kind of showing me regarding your emotions. You're feeling an ocean of emotions um, with everything you got going on right now. What you're kind of saying is, I don't know what I even feel called to do. I don't know. I don't know what I want, emotionally speaking. Um, but here's the thing. You do show me that there's this consideration of like, do I just need to be single? Do I just want to be single? Do I just want to be on my own? Do I just want my happiness, my own fulfillment? I feel like for you, what you're saying is you definitely are making plans as to what or who you're going to commit yourself to, which initially you kind of show me you want happiness, you want fulfillment, you want to be single. But then at the same time, you also kind of show me, but I don't really. And so there's this energy at the start of this that, that I was like kind of questioning and wondering about. Um, it's the soul search. Do you want to be alone on your own, independent and single, doing your own thing financially? Um, is there something about being left alone that causes like anxiety or stress or fear within you? Because you're showing me, I want to be single. Wait, no, never mind. Never, I don't. No, I don't. Um, forget that. I don't care about that. Um, you're saying that this is almost like an emotional escape method to just be done with this and not deal with everything. It's kind of like go away world, kind of leave me to my own devices. Um, even though you are showing me, it's like you are strongly believing in that you will get through this and you will kind of accomplish, you know, the closure of getting through this with who and what I see you're doing with presently energetically. You're showing me I'm trying to keep cool. I'm trying to keep my calm. I'm trying to gain perspective, but the more perspective and calm and cool you stay, there's this energy of anxiety and stress and panic beginning to kick in where you're just fixated on just, I just want all this to be done with, cleared up and taken care of and just drop it. And that's the thing, Pisces, like I said, leave the past in the past. Um, you're showing me that as whatever this closure is that you are just so focused on intently, it comes back to you. You're focused on you, your work, your career, your finances. And what you're kind of saying is regarding your, you know, your money and your finances, there's a lot of work being done. There's a lot of research being done at the same time with the way things are moving forward for you. You're kind of show, oh, you're showing me a uh, very similar energy to Sagittarius. Yeah, you're showing me energy to Sagittarius. Similar. Yeah, decisions, decisions, Pisces. Regarding your work or your career or your line of work or your content or your niche. The more you look into things, the more you're unhappy. But you're saying, I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do to bring in some sort of amount of income or finances or have some sort of you know source of revenue. Um, you're not happy about it. You're not happy, Pisces. And once again, I'm not too sure exactly what is going on, but this is definitely an energy of knowing oneself and finding oneself. It is. It, it's an energy of knowing where you stand emotionally, knowing where you stand mentally. You know being aware of the life that you want to create and manifest for yourself and pursuing that. It's a matter about being in alignment with oneself. What you're kind of saying is it sucks. It's hard. It's difficult. Um, and you're saying, you know what? I, I just want to focus on moving forward. And ultimately you're saying, yeah, about that. Something's got to change. So I'm not too sure exactly what it is that you're saying has to change. You're kind of showing me Pisces that absolutely everything is on the board when it comes to it's like hmm, what do i actually want to change here um 
what you're showing me is ivory tower over there. You're showing me ivory tower over there. So don't know where this will go, but of course if you are dealing with anyone. I believe they're all here. You could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.